Hey everybody, happy Sunday, my darlings. I hope you're all doing good. And y'all, uh, I have been catching up on videos and leaving messages. And uh, I appreciate all the messages here on my channel. And I appreciate all my new subscribers. I thank you. I hope you like what you see and I hope you stick around. Um, y'all, I'm coming to you. I have been missing. Hang on, let me grab something. I have been missing in a... I come across these craft boxes when I went with Mama and we stopped at the Dollar Tree in Taylorsville. Well, this is what they are. They're just plain old craft boxes. And they're a little tight. You have, kind of have to, you know, how they get crushed. So what I do is take them and kind of bend them out a little bit. Just pull on them a little bit. Not much. Now, you don't want to exert monkey pressure on them, but you know, just enough. And then that way they fit back down and I can do what I need to with them. But what I've done, I decoupaged, um, I get my decoupage sheets from Little Birdie. And I get four sheets. This is one of the sets. And it has two sheets like this, two sheets like this. So I get my decoupage sheets in there, and they've got all kinds, you know, just beautiful. Now, y'all know I love Little Birdie's glossy accents, but I can't always get my hands on her. Sometimes I run out between, so I had picked up this uh, Aline's um, Premium Decoupage Gloss Brilliant. Well, it's not a real high gloss. It's got a little bit of gloss to it, but y'all, it dries with no stickiness. I covered a box. And what I did to these craft boxes, I just went around the edge with my paper. Stamped the bottom of my box. Left it like this on this side. I can put a little piece of paper or whatever. And on the outside, I went around the edges and done it like that. Put, look, cut out the flyer bucket and put it on top. Okay, when I decoupaged after everything dried, these are the Dollar Tree uh, flowers that... Uh, Trina had got me, and I showed y'all how I take and uh, diamond dust them up, and then add a little bit more glitter in the middle, and then one of my butterflies, and I took the leaves that came off of this, and just add them on top of where leaves was on the bucket, and that's what I come up with, it makes it like a 3D effect, but they're, they're on there, they're not going to come off nowhere, but I absolutely adore the way this come out. And, like I said, this is just using the premium decoupage. That's the way it looks in the ball. And it is 16 fluid ounces. And y'all have barely even scratched the surface of it. And, y'all know, I buy the great big bottles of the uh, Art Glitter Glue. This is the glue I use always on uh, putting the stuff on the outside. It dries and it will not let go. Sometimes, if you hot glue something... It will still let it go eventually. So I'm pretty much, sometimes if I'm using hot glue, I'll use a dab of my art glitter glue. It holds it. And that, you know, just makes my uh, stuff more secure. But this is what I did. And like I said, pulled out the box a little bit. So when you close it up all the way around, it looks even. Pretty designed. And, like I said, you can put a nice little gift in it. Isn't that adorable, though? I love the way this came out. But, y'all, I love these uh, rice paper sheets. And it's decoupage papers, and that's what they are as rice papers. It's more thinner than regular traditional paper. And they don't wrinkle as easy. And you can see here, they, it just don't wrinkle much. It's, it's real smooth, so you don't have the wrinkles. And I like that. I like that. Because especially when you're working on corners and things like that, sometimes you just don't want it. And y'all, I have stained my hands up. Last night I was using furniture stain. Old English. If anybody's ever tried to take old English polish off of your hands, it will not come. I don't ever work with gloves. I need to start working with gloves. I'm like, why do I think? I think about it after the fact, not before the fact. But anyway, that's all I'm up here. Up, up here, up to today. I just wanted to bring you these and show you that, you know, just the Dollar Tree little boxes, and, and it makes them adorable. And you, I like to buy some of the boxes pre-decorated, you know, but these are good because if I'm just uh, going to add a couple little things to it, 
these weren't perfect. And you can do all kinds of stuff to it, you know, but that's just one of the projects I'm messing with. And, uh, y'all, I tell you what, that, that's, that's pretty much all I did last night or yesterday was done these yesterday evening and just, uh, let them dry and then come back in here and glue my cinnamon, uh, embellishments on top of it. And I was done. So I started watching videos. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. I just hope you all have a blessed, beautiful Sunday and sleep with angels every night and just God bless you all. Hugs, love, and kisses, sweetheart. Bye, babies.